fishing the river batcher on a flooded Mississippi River for blue catfish. So what I like to do is I find a cut in the trees like this and the big blue cats will come up out the main channel and feed along the edge of the river when it's real high like this. They'll feed along the cement. So I've caught a lot of fish over the years doing this. So what my setup is, I got about a three foot, 50 pound steel leader with a sliding four ounce sinker on it. And then I got about a foot of a 50 pound to a snap swivel and a 5-0 circle hook, a light wire circle hook. And I'll take a finger mullet And I'll take and put a few slices in them to make them stink a little for them. And uh, I'll go with the whole finger mullet. I'll chuck a couple of them out right in that opening. One a little downstream and one a little upstream. And I'll get three rods out and I'll wait here about an hour if I don't pick anything up in an hour I'll move to another opening in the trees hey, you gotta have some patience doing this I've been here an hour and I think I had one bump so I'm gonna move to another opening further a couple hundred yards away and see what happens I only lost one bait in an hour all right we're all set up in a new spot We'll give it an hour here too, and if we don't do anything, we'll just shut her down. So once again, another spot where the willow trees have a break in them, a ditch out there for drainage from the batcher. A lot of good flow by here. So hopefully them big cats will come take a bait. We got one on. Here we go. Big blue cat. Ooh. Gotta go in between mother poles. <clears throat> Don't mind the line right now. Let me show the camera's on. Gotta have a lot of patience for this. This is two hours of waiting here. Not real big, maybe six, eight pounder. Where you at? Under the line or on it? It's in my other line. There we go. Be under it. Where we at on this line? Ooh, ooh, he's bigger than I thought. A lot bigger than I thought. He's getting me all tangled in my other lines. That's what they do. They get along the edge here and they roll. Let's try to get him before he rolls off. Nice big blue cat. Mm, yeah. Bigger than I thought. I gotta figure out how to get out of this line. Am I under it? Am I over it? What do I got? I'll have to do that in a minute. Don't lose them. Don't lose them. I'm gonna weigh you and let you go, pal. Hooked in the tongue. Okay. So what do we got here? All right. Bring this pole over here. All right. That's a catfish right there, boy. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I don't want to hurt you. Whoo, he's heavier than I thought. Man.
tomorrow we're gonna get the hook out of you. Great, great big blue cat. Ho, 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 quit spinning, quit spinning. How much she weighs? 2330, 2310, 2306, 2299. So we'll call him 23 and get my pliers. Okay, fishing with circle hooks. It should roll right out of his tongue. Come on, buddy, roll right out. Let me get a better grip on it there. Roll it right out. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 23 pound blue cat. Take a little patience. Fishing with finger mullet on the Mississippi River Batcher. I don't really like to keep these big boys. They are hard to clean. All right, 23, and away he goes. I get a lot of comments on my videos. Do I ever release anything? Well, that was the, <laughs> that was a release, a 23 pound blue cat. Those are monsters to clean, but that would have yielded at least 10 pounds of fish. But uh, I'm just out here to enjoy myself today. So I just hooked that one right straight out in the middle of this cut. So when the river's down, they come and bulldoze the batcher area, keep it clear, and they put drainage ditches out. So there's a ditch going out past the rocks into the river. So those big blues, they come up and they'll cruise this batcher when it's flooded like this, looking for a meal. And uh, every few years when it gets 16, 17 foot in New Orleans and you get enough water depth here, always catch these big blues here every once in a while a small flathead but the big blues is almost a guarantee so while the river's at flood stage get anywhere you can east bank west bank cruise up and down and then find one of these cuts fish in the mouth of it and you'll catch some fish i was using finger mullet today so till the next video get out there and go for some catfish